I mean, I, I have to uh, respectfully disagree. I've been teaching world religions for 25 years. Um, religion, uh, Islam is not a religion of peace. Um, they've tried to trademark that, but it's just not true. Uh, Islam is uh, a religion that copes with the real world. And in, in, in Islam, including in its holy books, uh, there are provisions for warfare. And there are provisions for defensive warfare, and there are also provisions for the extension of Islam, which is why the, the whole history of Islam has been steady territorial expansion. Of course, it's a religion of peace, by which they mean the subjugation of other people under Sharia. <coughs> and that's, that's peace, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's an imperial sort of peace. And I'm not uh, judging it. I mean, we Christians have done the same thing. Um, and lots of other religions have done the same thing as well. Well, I mean, I, I, I beg to differ. You do appear to be judging it. No, I'm simply correcting the record. I mean, as a matter of fact, the Quran and the Sharia are very clear that, uh, that the jihad uh, can be both the internal, the greater jihad of subjecting myself to the will of God, and the lesser jihad is to subject the world to God. I mean, there's only two realms. There's Dar al-Islam, there's the submitted part of the world, and then there's the rest of the world that's not yet submitted to God, the Dar al-Hab, the, 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 the situation of war, the house of war. So it's, it's a pretty clear worldview, and while many of my Muslim friends are liberal and multicultural and love Canada and have no interest in the violent prosecution of their faith, uh, and I think it's really important to understand, uh, nonetheless, we just can't make sense of world history if we suggest that Islam doesn't have within it um, the, uh, the legitimation of violence.